It has remained untouched for 10,000 years, boasting some of Europe's tallest trees and 20,000 animal species, from the very small to Europe's last population of wild bison. But this year, the Bieloesia forest spruce trees are under attack from the bark beetle, one of the worst outbreaks anyone can remember. Jerzy Lugavoy, a forester here for 35 years, showed me another victim, a huge spruce, 150 years old, now dying. He supports the Polish government's controversial decision this year to increase logging to try and control the outbreak. It's a decision that has caused international outcry and an EU investigation. As soon as we stop fighting the beetle by stopping the logging, in a few years we won't have any spruce trees left over 25 years old. I want the next generation to see the forest the way we enjoy it now. The local foresters and the government claim that since April they've lost 80,000 trees to this latest outbreak. And if they did nothing about it, they would end up losing 250,000. And that would represent irreversible damage to this unique environment. Under the government plan, up to 180,000 cubic metres of wood will be cut down in an effort to halt the beetle spread. Evidence of the programme is clear to see. But environmentalists argue bark beetle has been around for years and the forest recovers on its own. They say spruce trees were planted by man and shouldn't be here in such great numbers anyway. We believe as environmental NGOs that bark beetle is a natural process of this forest and the forest can deal with it by itself. And if we log the forest, this, precise, this precious forest, we will lose it forever and there will be no way back. This debate pits traditional preservation against new theories of forest management. Foresters like Yerji against ecologists who claim his approach is out of date. Add to that a nationalist government intensely suspicious of outside interference, and you have a bitter row over how to protect one of the most unique habitats in the world. If they get it wrong, it could be lost forever. Simon McGregor with TRT World in the Bielowieża Forest in eastern Poland.